Hey everybody, Douglas Scott McCarran. It's been a couple of weeks since I put out anything, but I've been busy. Anyway, I want to talk to you about diversity in the movies and stuff. And, you know, I hear a lot of people talking about it. There's uh, not a lot of, apparently there aren't a lot of openings for women or blacks or things like that. I seem to find it more in indie movies that uh indie projects that such such actors are uh allowed or included i don't not sure what the word ra- word phrasing is but i know that like when i did a bit twisted it was a uh, very important to me to find some kind of diversity i knew that the lead character was going to be female and when Ariana Watkins showed up, who's very good in the project, she also happened to be black. Uh, she's very good emotional range, good discipline, good good work ethic. So I was really pleased when I got her. The, o- the only thing I was concerned about was uh, I didn't know how it would go over putting the bayonet in her hand. But... You know, all the people that were on the project with me, all the actors said not to worry about it, so I didn't. So, I, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly how things are decided to make movies that get out there. You know, the, the major studios, apparently a lot of it's more male-oriented. Um... Apparently, movies that are full, you know, nothing but female cast don't make as much money. I don't know why that is. Um, There seems to be a lot of support for the idea of diversity in actors and actresses. But I don't know that the majors do it that much. Television's sort of doing it. And, you know, the thing is, is those of us who watch movies sort of we're looking for ourselves in the characters in the movies and it's just sort of the way human beings are they look at it and we sort of assume that uh, it should be equal but you know these are all people who know each other they're trying to make a living they're trying to hire their friends and a lot of the major studios just happen to be Caucasian of various persuasions. You know, you got some some production companies that aren't, like Spike Lee. Uh, there's a few others. But I've noticed in India movies, there's a lot more interest. So I was, I was really pleased to have uh, Ariana in my project. Um, if you're interested in supporting, you know, diversity, then you probably should I would suggest, recommend that you do support indie projects. You know, I would ask you to come support a bit twisted because, you know, the more revenue I get in, the more I can uh, support the actors with. And Ariana definitely deserves to be exposed. She's really good. So, you know, I think the big thing is you may need to, like, look at the indie uh, movies for that more. You know, there's also less money at risk. So there's less of a desire to, you know, don't, you know, they don't have this, let's work with, let's do with what works. It's always worked because you want to have the money on the line. The other thing is also that for a lot of major projects, the reason why they have a lot of CGI is, um, they don't necessarily make all their money back in the United States or even in Europe. A lot of times they have to work things out going over to China. And because the Chinese want to see themselves, they, you know, aren't that interested in, you know, even even white actors, they want to see Asians. But the one thing that uh, American major studios have is really good CGI. And that's apparently, from what I've read, you know, I'm not an expert on this, it's just from what I've read, that's why they do well over there. But you're talking, you know, tens, hundreds of millions of dollars invested in these things. 
and you know usually what I've read is for every every dollar you put into making the movie you got to put another nine into marketing it so there's a you know big roll of the dice gamble thing going on there so you're gonna have good CGI well actors people know the names of in different countries so you know it's the majors are kind of hard to get the diversity in um, but independent stuff you can uh, find a lot more uh, you know one of the things of course though is there are so many of us making independent movies and web series that there's this odd mixture of a real glut and yet you know especially in these COVID times they're running out of original things and so a lot of indies are starting to be able to get in there even though you know the real majors like Amazon and Netflix and all all of their originals are with major names and actors and directors and producers but there's still the possibility to get in there but and there's also you know I don't mean to be harsh about this but a lot of people talk about they support something but they don't really support it you know it's like you know these things cost money and if you don't give money to look at them then they people that are making them kind of go away because you know I know one guy who's got a really nice hundred and ten thousand dollar home movie because he assumed he was going to get picked up and put in theaters and it didn't so he tried putting it on the internet and not very many people showed up and he's not going to make any more indie movies you know I just happen to be in a position where I can I can do this but I would really encourage you to more than just say you support that you actually go watch them and you know pay them and you know they don't cost all that much and uh, you'll be able to support the actor you'll get more diversity you'll get more racial diversity you'll get you know more gender diversity and that's just how it's done you know when you go to the store to buy something you got to pay for it I know a lot of us are really used to watching free stuff on the internet but you know like YouTube the reason they were able to survive is they had some really deep pocket investors that carried them for, through the first several years until now they're charging advertising and you know it's they're sharing revenue and things and they're a very different organization than they were when they started for a lot of indie people you don't have really deep pocket investors so you kind of depend on making it yourself or with a few friends and then going out and asking people to watch it you know pay to watch it because again it's not a lot of fun spending hundred ten thousand dollars on a home movie anyway you know let's support diversity let's support you know more various racial groups and gender groups in the in the movies and the web series and you know like I said you have to do your part by supporting it and you know I again request that you come see a bit twisted at a bit twisted.net one long word there um, check out our project support Ariana I mean she really deserves to be well known so okay um, I'm realizing as I watch some of these videos I say um and so a lot that's eh, a personal quirk okay nice talking with you till next time